Microsoft ends free upgrade from Windows 7 8 to 11. Microsoft has ended the free upgrade path from Windows 7 8 to Windows 10 11, though upgrading from 10 to 11 remains free. This means people with older systems will now have to pay if they want to upgrade. Previously, some users tried to get permanent activation during the upgrade, but tools like Widgen and Moss for activating systems will no longer work, as Microsoft has blocked such requests from their servers. However, computers already using Windows 10 11 through these activations will stay active, Microsoft is not taking back those licenses. For now, Windows 11 version 22H2 can still be activated on virtual machines, but the newer Canary build is not accepting activation requests. Microsoft is also working on a lighter, web-focused Windows 12 aiming for the education market, trying to rival Chrome OS. It's supposed to be a simpler version of Windows, and it's expected to come out in 2024. This variant won't replace standard Windows but will be an alternative for simpler, educational devices. It will feature AI integration and focus heavily on web experiences, especially with Microsoft Edge. In addition, Microsoft has introduced a big update for Windows 11, adding Copilot, a new AI assistant. Copilot will be in a sidebar and can help users with various tasks like searching for recipes and planning trips. The update also gives File Explorer a new look, adds a handwriting feature called Ink Anywhere, and brings enhancements to the snipping tool and RGB lighting control. Plus, Microsoft 365 users can get Copilot for $30 a month, which will help them with their work tasks.